One of the most important key features in Agno is the agent memory management. In this video, I will go through the examples to cover how to work with each agent memory type. First, let's understand what an agent memory is. In agentic AI, memory is the foundation of how an AI agent retain, recall, and make decisions based on past interactions. Think of it like the brain behind the agent, helping it not just react to requests, but adapt, learn, and improve over time. In Agno, there are three types of memory for agents. Chat history, which is the complete message history of a session. Agno stores this in a database and retrieves it whenever you resume a session. User memory, which are notes and insights about the user that help the agent personalize its responses. And summaries, which are condensed versions of conversations used when chat history gets too long, helping the agent maintain efficiency and context. And then there are three memory implementation methods, built-in, persistent, and user preferences, and conversation summaries. The way how I would differentiate agent memory and memory implementation method is, agent memory defines what is remembered by the agent. Built-in persistent preference summary memories define how memory is remembered and stored. To be honest, it took me a while to fully understand the difference. Before we dive into the examples, let's clarify some key terms. A session is each conversation with an agent, identified by a unique session ID. A run refers to every interaction or chat within a session, and each run has its own run ID. And finally, messages are the individual pieces of communication exchanged between you and the agent, each with a role, either system, user, or assistant and containing the actual content of the conversation. Understanding these terms will make it easier to grasp how Agno memory works under the hood. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into the first type of memory, built-in memory. Built-in memory in Agno is basically the ability to retain past interactions within a session. You can think of it as the short-term memory of an agent. Once you exit the session, the memory is lost automatically. To use the built-in memory feature in the agent setup, set the add history to messages parameter to true. To enable the agent to include previous chat history in messages sent to the model, which allow the model to maintain context across multiple turns in a conversation. And use number history responses to control how many past responses from the agent are included in the memory. By setting the number history responses to two, the last two responses will be stored and referenced in future interactions. But I found that the setting doesn't always work. Sometimes the agent ignores the parameter and uses the entire conversation as context. To demonstrate, I will tell the agent my name and where I live. Then I'm going to ask, what is my name? Using previous messages as context in the session, the agent knows my name is G. Now in a new session, I am going to add one more message in the conversation and ask the agent if it knows my name. Because I set the number of history responses to two, typically the agent should only use the previous two messages as context. But in this case, the agent still remembers my name. I believe this is one of the bugs Agno will fix in the next release or so. Now we know how built-in memory works, let's move on to learn how to store conversation sessions using persistent memory. The differences between persistent memory and built-in memory is that built-in memory stores the conversation session in a PC's RAM and only during an active session and does not persist once the session ends. On the other hand, persistent memory stores the conversation sessions in a database or a file like SQLite, Postgres, or JSON files. That means you can always go back to previous sessions if needed. And another benefit of persistent memory is, it is used for caching information, 
avoiding redundant computations, or personalizing interactions over time. To incorporate persistent memory in an agent run, when creating an agent from Agno Storage Agent, import the agent storage class type to be used for message storage. In the agent setup, in the storage parameter, attach the storage configuration with a table name and database path. The beauty with Agno Agent Storage class is that the class handles all the database setup for you, like table creation, record management, and whatnot. Now I'm going to do the same thing again to tell the agent my name, my occupation, and have the agent tell me an interesting fact, then ask the agent if it remembers my name. This time I am going to run the code manually. From the output, the agent remembers my name. To return the conversation session, we need to retrieve the session ID. Here, I am going to print the session ID and save it as a comment. Now, because when I rerun the script, a new session is initialized, the agent won't remember anything from previous conversations. To resume a conversation session in the agent setup, take the session ID and assign it to the session ID parameter. Now, if I run the script again, it will be able to recall the conversation detail from that session. Let's go over the last memory type user preferences and conversation summaries. The user preferences and conversation summaries memory are not well covered in the documentation. I will try my best to explain the two memory types as clear as possible. User preference are long-term details remembered by the agent about a user across multiple interactions. This helps the agent personalize responses based on past conversations such as remembering your favorite restaurant, your name, age, preferred response styles, and so on. This is very similar to chat GPT memory. Conversation summaries, on the other hand, are recaps of key points discussed in a single session. I won't treat this as a memory feature, but rather a summarization of the entire conversation. To implement user preferences and conversation summaries, from the imports import agent memory class from Agno agent and memory DB class from Agno memory DB. The agent memory class in Agno provides memory functionality for an agent. It enables the agent to retain and recall information across interactions, making it more context aware and personalized. The memory DB class, on the other hand, is used to store and manage agent's memory in a database. To incorporate agent memory feature in an agent in the memory parameter in the agent setup, use the agent memory class to define the memory storage and whether user memory and session summary should be enabled. Here, I'm going to send three inputs to provide the agent with my name, my hobby, a project I am currently working on. Then I'm going to ask the agent, what do you know about the user? If we look at the log, when we enable the create user memories feature, a new instruction will get appended to the system prompt to inform the agent to track information that is worth remembering for future conversations, like user's name, age, occupation, life event, important context, and whatnot. And with the session summary enabled, it will append another instruction to summarize the conversation in each run with conversation summary and topics for categorization. From the agent memory object, we can return the memories and summaries the agent retained. If we look at the memories output, it returns as a list. And in each item, it contains the memory record the agent uses to personalize the conversation. And from the summary output, it returns an overall summarization of what the conversation session is about, along with the topics. 
noticing that here the session ID is absent. But if I ask the agent, what do you know about the user? It will still remember the project I'm working on. And my hobby, the important stuff, can be helpful for future conversations. And that concludes this Agno agent memory tutorial. I hope you find the video useful. If there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.